My friends, we have got two things to take care of in this video today. Number one, we're going to talk about the state of Galaxy of Heroes. Is the game dying? Or is it in a good place? Or is it somewhere in between? We're going to dig into that just a little bit. This is something that I get a lot of questions about. And so, it's something I'm concerned about. And so, let's talk about it. And then number two, we need to figure out the mystery of what happens when you put Hermit Yoda against C-3PO 1v1. And we will do that at the end. All right, so starting with the state of Galaxy of Heroes. So again, I get this question a lot, and, and it makes sense that I get this question. I know a lot of you guys play this game, and you invest a lot of time into it. And when you hear it, you know, you see people who leave the game. And when you, you know, invest your own money into the game or a lot of time, um, some of you really just, the thought of this game going away can be really scary to you. I feel that way too, both from a player standpoint and from a, I don't know, my YouTube channel kind of needs this game to do well right now so that I can have success on YouTube. And so this is something I am keenly aware of and that I look into on a very regular basis. Now, there is no way for me to open up Capital Games books for you guys and for us to delve through all of their financial records. Obviously, that is going to be extremely proprietary. But that said, there are apps out there that can give give you an idea of the financial health um, and the stability of certain mobile um, apps. So the app that I am referring to is called Sensor Tower. And so let's go over there. This is their website. And this is going to have a lot of data about um, just basically any app you can conceive, not just games, but apps in general. Um, a lot of the figures on here are going to be estimates, but it does give you a pretty good idea of where games are at. And so let's just start this up. Let's look at Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. All right. And it does sort it out by uh, Android and um, Apple. So let's look at the Android side first. Boom, look at this. So you can see here, it's not just going to give you an idea of what the game was able to do in December, um, this last month, you know, last full month we had, but it also gives the app a score. We get an A plus. How about that? Everyone high fives, pat on the back. Our game gets an A plus. 500,000 downloads uh, worldwide on just Android for Galaxy of Heroes in December 2018 and $8 million in revenue. All right, that, that's no joke. Um, that's pretty good uh, funds for a mobile game that we play. That is, of course, just the Android side of things. So let's look at the same thing, only Apple. So here's the Apple side. And not quite as uh, impressive. We've only got 200,000 downloads uh, for Apple and $6 million in revenue for Apple as well. So that's going to total to $14 million combined uh, revenue just for the month of December. So that to me is not a bad score. I mean, I, I'm not a, an expert. I don't really have a whole lot to compare this to, but that's a pretty steady stream of revenue coming in for the month of December. Now, how does this compare to how the app has been doing over time? You can see here, here is a compilation of these estimates from 2017 January all the way through December of last month. And if you look at this, this to me looks very very stable. The one thing I would say if you want to get concerned, the only thing I would say is potentially concerning is we're not necessarily seeing growth here. And you can see here it combined the Android um, is in the orange, the app, the Apple or iOS is in the blue underneath, and this is just the sales figures. So you can see 2017, 2018, January, we're both at 14 million, and that's what we hit December 2018 just last month. Compare that to the year before four in which we had to that you know in 2017 December where we were about 15 million the spike was March of 2018 at uh you know 18 million in sales and that was you know shortly after the Sith Triumvirate raid came out shortly after the Palpatine reworks I think Scion was pretty fresh then there's a lot of excitement in the game then so from a sales perspective do you need to be concerned about Galaxy of Heroes not doing well? 
I don't think so at all. I think the game looks like it's very stable. I'm not concerned about it. I think we've got several years at least left in this game. And that is, I know, going to speak peace to a lot of your minds because we love this game, right? Now, the only figure to look at is not just going to be sales. You also want to be concerned about downloads. And this is where I think there might be a little more cause for concern um, because that is going to be representing what is coming into the game. Because obviously, people at the top, you play a game for three years. There's going to be some attrition. Some people are going to leave the game at some point. That is just inevitable and so you need to have a steady flow of new downloads to have the potential of adding new committed players the downloads definitely seem to be going down for the most part this year now i think this could be indicative of the star wars universe however just what's going on there obviously the last jedi um you guys know how I feel about the movie, but a lot of people didn't like it, and a lot of people, you know, weren't as into Solo, and so you can see here, look at December 2017, that's when The Last Jedi hit, they spiked at a ton of downloads, the regular, I mean, the regular stream is somewhere, you know, at the, you know, close to a million, maybe a little bit under a million combined between Android and iOS, and they were well over 2 million, looks like about 2.75 million about, based on this graph um, again estimated but uh, pretty close um, in December 2017 that's when the last Jedi hit so lots of attention um, on Star Wars um, that leads to a lot of downloads now because the Star Wars universe has been a little bit stale lately since solo not as much excitement there you can see the downloads for 2018 do kind of start to head down just a bit now what's going to happen in 2019 we've got some more excitement with Star Wars we got the Clone Wars coming up we've got uh, episode 9 coming up if episode 9 is handled properly I think we could see a similar spike in 2019 is it gonna hit the same spot that last Jedi did I don't know but what is encouraging to me is if you look at October November December we do see the trend start to go back up I personally hope that continues so currently the downloads do look to be heading on the downward spiral just a bit maybe starting to curve back up and the sales seem consistent all right so enough talk about shops galaxy heroes looks to be fine we need to find out this dilemma here my friends is c3po or hermit yoda going to win in the 1v1 stare down i know a lot of people are probably just thinking this does not matter but look this is a legitimate request that i've received from several people and so modelist match 1v1 here we go c3po against hermit yoda what will the outcome be yes i know not a full squad i don't i legit don't know what's gonna happen victory <laughs> okay so it looks like it gave it to me but hold up wait i was the lower rank here and it didn't change my rank so it told me i won but my rank didn't improve. <laughs> that is fun. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we get the same outcome. And thank special shout out to Skeltrix who uh, put this in for me. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Just C-3PO. <laughs> we get the same result and no. We're not gonna increase our rank. That is so funny. All right, now let's see if the same thing happens in reverse when Hermit Yoda is on the other side. All right, here we go. He's got C-3PO in there. Let's go ahead and put Hermit Yoda in. I have a feeling it's just gonna be the same thing. Here we go. Victory. <laughs> but does our rank increase? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you have it. So you win, but you don't win. You get to see the victory, but your rank won't increase if you ever were in a position where you had to take Kermit Yoda against C-3PO. All right, my friends, I hope this video was helpful for you a little bit off the wall here at the end, but I did just want to speak peace to your soul. I mean, for, for those of you who are concerned about the health of Galaxy of Heroes, I don't really think you need to be for the immediate future. I think this game is going to have several years left. I think that it, I, I hope it has well more than that, but for now, it looks to be in a good place. I think some of the challenges that we're going to face here is we have over 160 characters in this game right now. The 
game does need to find ways to generate revenue without just dumping marquee characters on us because eventually you're just going to oversaturate it. The kits are going to get way too complicated, which they're kind of already doing. And so I'm interested for 2019, something I'm interested to see how Capital Games manages this is how are we going to create ways to engage in this game without just dumping new characters on us? And I think if Capital Games can really figure out a good way to solve that dilemma, this game is going to have a really good shot at being successful for a long time. And in my opinion, Grand Arena is a fantastic step in the right direction. My only feedback is we need more of them. I really hope that we can see more Grand Arenas. It just pains my soul to not see any of them available right now. Thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.